Hello guys, in this video I'd like to show you how to permit a request with Spring Security. I am Nam Haming at code java.net. You know, when Spring Security is added to the class path, it will secure access to the entire application. That means all requests must be authenticated, users must sign grants, need to provide credentials. But in development, we may need to allow access with the authentication, so it's possible to test the existing features while security features are being implemented. With web applications, that means permit or request with API applications, that means allow all endpoints. Let me show you an existing Java project that uses Spring Framework with Spring Security. You see the Weather API service project, and I have added a new dependency for Spring Security. As you can see here, Spring Boot Status Security. And let me start this API application and test using Postman. Okay, you see the application has started, and in the console, you can see the message. It will secure any request is because Spring Security is present, is available in the class path. And if I use a Postman to test the API and POIST here, you see I got the status for one unauthorized error here. You see, for one unauthorized. So, to uh, permit or request uh, temporarily or uh, allow access to all endpoints uh, temporarily, we need to uh, configure Spring Security in a new configuration class. So, I create a new Java class. Let me stop the application first. Okay, new class and there's a New practice security in the class name security config. Okay, and in this uh, project, you can see I use Spring Boot version uh, 3.0.2 that comes with Spring security version 6. So we need to write the code for the security configuration class like this using the configuration annotation okay and declare a bin of type security filter chain like this security filter chain configure with the uh, parameter is HTTP security HTTP and we configure like this HTTP dot authorized HTTP request and we need to use lambda uh, DSL syntax lambda expression like this of of dot any request dot permit all and then return HTTP dot build and we need to add uh, exception yeah. Okay, and start the application. Okay, now you see the application has started. Now let me test again using a postman. Okay, click send here. And you can see now I can access the API endpoint. You can see the server status is to allow OK successful. Also, this API call is working status to allow OK. So, to allow access to all endpoints or uh, permit or request, you need to write this uh, statement in a Spring Security Configuration class. Alright, so while you have seen how to configure Spring Security to permit or request allow access to all endpoints, if 
you are using Spring Boot 2.x with Spring Security 5.x, you need to code the web uh, security configuration class like this. You see, extending the web uh, security configure adapter and code override the configure HTTP security method like this and write this statement to permit all request HTTP dot authorized request dot any request dot permit all or uh, if you are using Spring Boot 3.x with Spring Security 6.x, the code of the security configuration class should look like this. You see, we need to declare bin of type security filter chain and the statement that permits or request allows access to all endpoints uh, looks like this. You see. So I hope you found this video helpful. Please subscribe to my channel, like, comment, and share this video. Thanks for watching.